Hello, this is Haku Devine, and I am here, here lost once again in level 7 of the back rooms. I say lost, but it's more like I just found myself in this room. This level is called the Lossophobia, and outside the door of this room is a huge ocean. It's kind of weird, it's like the room is kind of like sideways or something. Let's read on and we can get a better explanation of this of this back rooms. Level 7, the Lossophobia. Survival difficulty, class 3. Unsafe, unsecure, moderate entity count. Level 7 is the 8th level of the back rooms. Level 7 is unique in that it is a vast expanse of water that appears to stretch on endlessly. Nobody thus far has and fully has fully explored level seven, but what's currently known is that the first and potentially only room in level seven is not flat and has the usual fluorescent lighting. The room has a thin layer of water on the bottom and is strangely skewed from the rest of the floor. Anomalously, the single door opens to show the surface of the water from a top-down perspective. The room is seemingly rotated horizontally, but Gravity still works to keep one's feet on the floor or in the first room. Upon entry, gravity switches to pulling one and towards the water and is significantly stronger than regular gravity. <sighs> the water has been reported to be very cold, and it is generally uh, unadvised to enter it. <sighs> the floor of the ocean is made up of carpet hardened by a thick layer of tar above it. There are several skeletons, including several almost humanoid figures and massive fish. Little else is known about the depths of the water, aside from the endless expanse of tar and bones. This level poses a significant barrier to further exploration of level 8 and onward. Guide Outpost 05, Former this research base, previously owned by both BAS and TTG, is now abandoned. Pre abandonment, A had 8 BAS scientists and 20 TTG guards. Main purpose is to decide the depth of the seafloor, search for an exit, and or find the thing on level 7. Hey, first time we're actually doing this in a few days. We're going to look up what the thing on level 7 is. It is Entity 20. By reading in this article, you are making yourself a target for Entity 20. The more information you know about this entity, the more likely it is to attack you. Please read with caution. Better not attack me. Make a database login form. Use, enter your username. Gary. Enter password. Autofield. Warning. This article may have re misinformation. Reason. The entity is currently unconfirmed and is likely to be a rumor. While reading this article, please keep in mind that you may be reading misinformation. I've been swimming to the bottom of level 7 when I encountered a giant fish. It looked like a... What just happened? Oh. That's weird. Anyway. It looked like a deep sea lizard fish and an angler fish urged together. Description Entity 20, more commonly known as the Thing on Level 7, or simply the Thing, is a huge fish like entity that lurks in the deep ocean of Level 7. The Thing is very aggressive and very rare to appear, and due to this, little information is known about it. As of now, this entity is only rumored to exist. Is and there have been no confirmed sightings of it. Many people have reported seeing a dark shadow in the ocean and a dim light moving in the waters. 
but there is no support or evidence of this being the thing. Here's a potential image. Behaviors. The thing lives in the lower half of level 7. It is omnivorous and seems to have killed all other life in the ocean. It has poor eyesight but can easily detect movements in the water to find out where potential prey is. When the thing is near, it will give you a temporary fear of the ocean and sea creatures if you don't already have one. I definitely have one. I've seen what's down there. Making its attacks more effective. It makes loud roars around the prey to make them very weak and slow, and as recording to roar can have this effect. The thing tries to prevent any information about it from spreading, and will usually attack anyone who knows what's the most about it before anything else. There have been reports of it actually trying to hunt a specific person because of how much they knew. Kind of thing knows how much information a person knows about it is unknown. So you're all, all, all targets of the thing as well. Good luck. You might all need it. Biology. The thing appears to be a dull red anglerfish and a, a bathysaurus pharynx combined with a tail that is a kilometer or long. It has many spikes coming out of it, especially on its tail. Similar to anglerfish from reality, it has a yellow light hanging from its head. It has large teeth, but most of the time it won't have to use them since it is big enough to swallow a human being with ease. <sighs> it is. Th here are some theories. It is rumored that the thing was about the Sphericks th from the front rooms, who actually no clipped into level 7. Since that sounds like a dinosaur name. That means that the back rooms has been around since around that time, or even earlier. The thing quickly adapted to the environment and began its hunt, devouring every organism present on level 7, if there were any to begin with. The thing is, is said to be the reason why there are, are mass amounts of skeleton boats on the ocean floor of level 7. In most cases, these skeletons are unfortunate wanderers, but some of the... And some of them are the remains of unidentified entities that were once l dwelling in level 7 peacefully. It is believed that the thing produces a substance that slows down the infection of nuclear infection from infecting level 7. If this is true, it will explain why level 7 hasn't turned into a wasteland yet. I don't know what nuclear infection is, but I think we... You should uh, just move on. As said before, there are no confirmed sightings of the thing, but there have been many reports of it. The first report is from, water, from a wanderer exploring the deeper parts of the ocean level 7. They saw a yellow light in the distance and it seemed to be getting closer. Confused and, and scared, the wanderer swam back up to the surface, away from the light. This was the first and last time they saw anything like it. Here's some do's and don'ts. Do keep time I'm in the ocean level 7 minimal. Get away from anything moving in the ocean. Report anything you might think you think may be the thing on level 7 to the MEG. Don't explore the deep ocean and, and in level 7. Don't make a lot of noise. Don't go towards any lights in the ocean. Alright, going back to the page, because I kind of did a screw up here, my bad. Anyway, back to this colony that I was reading about. This colony also set a temp temporal camp near the only room. After finding this e floor is seeming infinite and deep and eventually finding a more practical exit, the team gets attacked by robe wearing attackers, likely TPWG, see above, and retreat through the more practical exit. Ending, ending up 
at level 4 with a sealed walk, uh, utter leaking fire door. Base abandoned. Backroom colonists. A research outpost owned by the group in question that is relatively big. It has it has currently 40 people guarding it and it has some properties to float its previous outpost. While it is pretty recreational, they have a sea related equipment and do experiments on the ocean. Outpost 207, created by the e outpost group, relatively friendly, open to trade. Base made of random furniture, 65 members. The floaters had 23 people, lived in a medium sized outpost with a makeshift swimming pool where they could swim for both fun and for exercise. Destroyed. Rumored to have been taken by the thing. Entrances and exits. You can enter the enter level seven by wandering far enough in the in level six. You can enter through uh, the wall of water in level five hundred thirty four. You can enter by going through the crack in the pool in level one fifty one, jumping from on um, the plate on level A. Oh right, there are alphabetical levels too, aren't there? Hmm. Going into deep sea in level ten forty five. Attempting to drown yourself in the bathtub in level 598, accidentally falling into water in level 430, and find a yellow river or door in level 1984. Exits. An underwater, like a hole located somewhere in the carpeted ocean, will lead to level 8. This was discovered by two users that I'm not going to say the name of because... Uh, I don't care about it names. Anyway, swimming through the water for an unguaranteed distance may probably transport one to level 13. Certain locations under the water of the area may lead to level 37. Entering deep into the ocean of this level may lead to the coast of level 1045. So I'm gonna look for that hole and get into level 8. Before I do that, how about I just say, hey, hey, I, I enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed make, listening to this video. If you did, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. Anyway, see you next time when I'm in level 8.